Hey everyone, I'm Molly Wood and welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show where we take your feedback and answer your questions about the stuff we're doing here at CNET. So I got a little confused last week about our HD download rollout. It turns out that some of the downloads people got in HD were not supposed to be available in HD because we weren't really starting our HD downloads until this week. So if you went looking for some and you didn't find them, haha, <laughs> my bad. And speaking of HD, Peter from Norway wrote in to say, Hi guys, I totally love you, but hey, what's up with the HD? It's maybe a good thing, but think user perspective. I'm not quite sure, but I think that a lot of people watching CNET TV directly from iTunes on their computers. There is no need for HD in there, especially for those with old computers like me, having trouble viewing your podcast since my computer can't handle it. It's a terrible disaster watching those videoes in iTunes. And even if VLC works fine, that's outrange. Or even those who watch CNET TV on their iPods. What the heck do those people need HD for? Please do it simple. Just make a RSS feed for CNET TV without the HD quality and with a HD quality, and we could save a lot of troubles and a lot of download time. I still love you as long. <laughs> well, Peter, you can keep on loving us because that's the plan. HD video is not supported on a lot of computers or on iPods or the iPod Touch or the iPhone or Apple TV. We got a lot of email about this. And I am happy to say that, yes, we will be delivering a standard definition feed and a high definition feed so you can pick your poison because we aim to please. Sorry about the confusion there. Maybe you should uh, email Apple, though, and tell them to support some higher resolutions. Tom from Sweden had a note for our Tom about some of our recent changes. To Tom Merritt, okay, that's it. I just watched the CNET Top 5 Most Popular Search Terms from 827. I can live with the new graphics and the changed intro music, but dude, you just walked in from the right. Not okay. Any new CBS rules preventing the classic entering from below? Tom Sweden. P.S. I just noticed that you also did it on the 731. Was that just a rehearsal for the new rules? Okay, guys, come on. A redesign like CNET just pulled off? That takes like a year or more of planning. You really think CBS bought us, redesigned us in a month, and then made Tom walk in from the right? No, 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 no. But they did give us new email addresses. That was exciting. Okay, speaking of complaints, David from Florida said, if I see that freaking cell phone talk one more time, I think I will explode or stop watching CNET, whichever comes first. I am majoring in advertising, and I tell you that I have had enough of that monotonous, annoying ad. Thank you, and I enjoy your content. Just please give us a different ad. I know. I'm sorry. We try. I swear. Maybe CBS can help us fix that one. Moving along, Helios wrote in, and he does not love our new redesign, but he does have some funny thoughts about Mark Lasea. Loaded, Mark is awesome. I hope he gets something to do in front of the camera when Natalie gets back, just not loaded. He picked up way too many gestures and mannerisms from Natalie, and there can only be one Natalie. Love the shows. A lot of people pointed out that Mark has some of Natalie's moves. So we did a little side-by-side -side comparison, and... Uh, AT &T Amazon launches an a Wikipedia-like site for music. Charges, an Microsoft on the and Apple both will soon have new MP3 players on the way, and the Smashing Pumpkins can it's, it's Wednesday, Wednesday August 27th. I'm Natalie Delphine, and it's time, it's time to get loaded. Okay. Wikis and okay. Web 2.0 apps. This means that they can All we can do is wait until we hear more from us. Wow. Maybe they were separated at birth. And now for the nicest email ever. Hey Molly, just wanted to give a virtual pat on the back for the great work you do and to say thank you. My fiance Elizabeth and I have enjoyed listening and watching you over the years. The fun you bring to the CNET content allows me to hear Elizabeth's laugh even more than usual. Nothing makes me happier than when I hear the joyful laugh of someone I care about. Thanks for making that happen. Keep up the great work. Please pass along a virtual pat on the back to the rest of CNET crew for their hard work. Cheers, Kev. Kev? I totally teared up a little bit the first time I read that. So sweet. And finally, last week, Chris asked if we could make Brian Tong do the running man while texting on his phone. Chris, hold on to your hat. And that's it for this week, everyone. Keep that feedback coming. Mailbag at CNET.com or send me a postcard. 235 2nd Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. See you next week.